Good morning today, YouTube. It's River Snow Vlogs. Oh wow, look the radio's in. So yeah, we'll just I'm um, just have the little night light on for right now. I'm powering my Bluetooth speaker up there, and this is my new little phone holder, which is handy dandy. And you guys can see the radio is finally in. It's finally finally wired in right. So as soon as I turn the key, watch this. All my lights come on. There you go. And watch this. Turn off the key. Radio shuts off, which is a score. So what I did is I'm done with the power outlet job. The lights from the in here, there they work. Let me show you guys something else. I'm going to plug up the ones back here. Watch this. Lights work. And the ones back here because I have made a custom power outlet. Bought these at Walmart for like six bucks, and I put them in. Wired these up to this outlet right here. All I had to do was build, um, ground it to a, a bolt and a little wire, stick it in the power outlet housing. And what do you know? Got this one, look at that, and these lights to work. So I'm gonna build me a custom center console. That'd be cool. Next project. Oh, real quick, I've got the batteries. Oh, fuck, my battery died. Dang it. Here's the best part. Turn the key. radio comes on turn off the key radio shuts off so what I did is I completely wired this radio a different way I did not use the little stereo adapter I just used my own adapter so I did keep the ground wire and the speaker wires intact with the adapter so what I did I wired up the red wire and the yellow wire to underneath the dash I'll show you guys right now um, hope you guys can see this halfway decent <sighs> okay so you guys my wiring job real quick okay you guys see this little red wire right here it goes up around here above my dash there you go I you guys can see that way up there oh, you guys can't see that you guys can only see the radio fuck where's the little adapter oh, crap that's the adapter wire so uh, I can't get the phone in there. Crap. Oh, you get the idea. So, I took this long ass red wire, follow it, follow it underneath the dash. And, crap, this is it. This is, no, okay, it's not zoomed in. Okay, perfect. So, these two white wires, the black and the positive, that's for the mirror. And this wire right here, I took the black wire and I grounded it to that bolt right there. Which is real nice. So what I did is this this little wire right here wrapped in electrical tape. Some of you guys can see that right there. This little wire wrapped in electrical tape. If I remove this little cover right here, which is the fuse box, watch this. Move this, gently pull it out, and there you go. That's my fuse holder. Which is the fuse holder is actually I stuffed it behind here and I used the radio fuse which is that one right there number 10 if you guys are curious there you go and turn it like that there you go radio fuse 10 a use that one radio fuse and there you go tap into that one and there you go that's how your radio works which is better because these Hondas have a little issue with the radio whenever you wired up to the adapter ended up blowing end up blowing up this box and end up Blowing the dash lights, which is you have to take off this whole fuse box and then get this little black box out of here to be able to replace the little module here to for you, for your dash lights gonna work. So I said just a little job right here, ground right there, taped to the wires right here so it won't touch the brake because the hay was hanging up about this much by the brake. So I just taped it. There you go, and there you go. So let me show you guys the power outlet job. I mean, you guys can see it right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that power outlet, right? Okay, oh, okay, now you can see my radio adapter. Oh, crap. Okay, you guys can see that right there. Ignore this airbag cover right here. There you go. All right, you guys can see that. That's the radio adapter that I used. I only used the red wire. Those two wires are right there. The blue, the yellow and red. I did not use those. I just used this long ass wire. There you go, that's how I wired up my uh, adapter. So let me see if I can see the the outlet pretty pretty quickly. So let's see if I can, I don't know, I can't see it. 
that red wire goes up to the only ground wire right there and I only use the radio harness so that's how my house I have my radio hooked up I don't know you guys cannot see the outlet top oh well, fuck it you guys get the idea on how I wired this up my next project is <clears throat> oh crap so now I have a power outlet right here all I did was use the ground wire and that's about it. actually let me see if I can remove the ashtray so I can show you guys how I did the wiring if you guys are curious about how I did the uh, wiring in the car I know some people are probably oh there goes my change great There you go. Oh no, you're not gonna be able to see it. Oh, crap. Oh well. Okay, right there. Well, like I said, no wires underneath the console. So, sorry this video's all over the place. So let me show you guys back here. This is my custom outlet that I have back here. I said I will be building a custom center console for this to mount those cup holders. And this will come in handy. Like I said, no more ashtray, just a straight up outlet so everybody can charge their phones. I think it's a great idea because it will power up my lights too. See that? Nice and clean wiring job. No wire sticking out, just a clean wiring job. And it's about five, five, five something in the morning. Look at that. <clears throat> no wire sticking out. See that, guys? No wire sticking out. pretty nice and like I said guys as soon as I turn the key all the lights come on the ones in the front and the back so I'm gonna show you guys a demo one more time and the lights come on there you go pretty sweet and the radio comes off which is a pretty good idea and watch this turn off the radio the radio shuts off same thing with the mirror it also does the same thing next thing i gotta do is figure out how to probably find me a mini adapter for this so i can wire this up to the mirror and we'll be good to go oh i didn't show you guys the mirror hold on a second. give me one minute one second guys see if i can actually do this one-handed hold on the mirror also does the same thing too like it turns on with the car's power Watch this. Watch the radio. Watch it. Ready? One, two. Let's turn off. Not turn off the light. I hope you guys can see that. Barely decent. There you go. There you go. We got the compass and temperature. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, you guys can peer it. The mirror does turn black. So you guys can see. And if I point the light at it. A little sensor there you go there you go now you guys can see it well kind of there you go oh that's weird hmm that's weird the battery's too dead probably yeah my battery's probably dead dang it so you guys can see i think it's dead oh fuck yeah it is dang it so yeah anyways Everything shuts off, even the lights too. Oh fuck, focus, focus, you son of a... There you go. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put my tools up and uh, call it a day. So, uh, beautiful morning out here in Texas. I've been out here working on this thing all night. Like I said, my wiring job, I do it really well. I don't, I don't have any wires on the bottom. See that? Nice clean wiring job. Anyways, all I gotta do is buy the mirror button for this, and this mirror will be on this windshield pretty soon. It's pretty nice. Thank you guys for watching. Doses.